fans of the big pedal. Now the small pedal. Um, TC Electronic has recently released the TC Electronic, I already said that, a flashback two times four, which is technically eight. Now we have the Hoff two times four. The Hoff. David. No? Hmm. Uh, the Hall of Fame two times four. The Hall of Fame two sported the really nifty mash button and more tone print slots, uh, probably new algorithms, all this. It's just the Hall of Fame was one of the reverbs you saw on pedal boards. It was inexpensive, sounded good, TC, notoriety, and know-how behind it. It was just all good. They made it better with a Hoff 2, and now they made it bigger with more recallability and more presets and MIDI ins and outs, um, all that stuff uh, on the Hoff 2 times 4 the Hoff 8. There you go. So what do you have? You have more algorithms on the front panel that you can pick. Uh, you could probably pick all of them in the editor for the smaller version, but here they're right on the front panel. You got six tone print slots, which means either through the editor, make your own and save them, uh, pick some that they made and save them, or take uh, your phone, go in there, oh, that's cool, go to a tone print slot and go, and then it's on there, because that's how that works with magic. Um, if you've seen my uh, flashback two times for video, you've seen all that already. So what I'm doing is just copying myself. <laughs> then we got decay. How big is your reverb? Pre-delay. When does the reverb actually start coming back from the wall? Tone. How much high end? How much low end? Level. How loud is the damn thing? On the back, you will find a uh, switch for kill dry so that when you're right now this would still have all the guitar in it. Um, it doesn't kill the dry, but you can set that up in the back through a through through a thrift through a thrift um, for let's say uh, parallel effect loops. Beautiful for that. And then you can really just dial in. This will then only be effect, and you dial that in. And then also, there's a buffered or unbuffered bypass switch, meaning do you have trails or not? It's very simple on. The pedal, which is great for, for those of you who don't want to deal with loads of parameters like the Big Sky or the Nemesis or any of the mega reverbs, you don't. Decay, pre-delay, tone, level, that's it. Pick the algorithm. You can't do much. If you want to can do much, then you go into the editor, which we're going to look at later. Um, there's also a, let me see if I'm lying. Yes, no, no I'm not. Uh, there's an expression pedal input. Uh, you can assign what the expression pedal does, which is pretty great. So uh, whether or not we're going to try that. You could do level, you could do swells, you could do pre-delay, you could make your reverb bigger or smaller, all with an expression pedal, but you could also do that with the mash buttons. Now you have two banks of four. On the delay version, there's only two banks of three because you have a tap button. You don't need the tap button here, just like the timeline in the Big Sky, the timeline has... Uh, two sounds plus tap, and the big sky has three sounds. This has four presets, whereas the delay has three presets. Same thing because the tap button. <sighs> presets. Bank one flashes red, bank two flashes green. So even if I'm bank one, let's say I'm here, it shows red. I'm switching banks. I'm still on that preset as it now indicates, but the green flash said on the next tap uh, of any uh, button, I will be on bank two. So right now, bang, green. So I'm on the green bank right now, four presets and snap, and I'm on the first bank. Eight reverb sounds should be enough for anything you want to do uh, in a live situation. Now, whether or not you have 127 presets with MIDI, I don't know. You only have four, uh, eight recallable, well, two times four, eight, that makes sense. Um, uh, you only have eight recallable, recallable on the pedal itself. Whether or not with MIDI that's more, you find out I'm too lazy to do that. This is a guitar. It is the PRS-CE, which, which means bolt on, on 24 frets, frets um, SH, semi-hollow. Semi Got beautiful, almost acoustic piezo sounds because it's semi-hollow uh, when I'm in single coil mode, which makes it great for a reverb demo. 
uh, this word this word sounds like into the Tone King Sky King with the Lewitt MTP 440 in front of it, and also through the Ox with a Queenback loaded 412, both of them mixed together, and that's the clean. <laughs> Pushes the amp a bit when in humbucker mode. Also on the table, I've got the Vemoram Tube Screamer from Ibanez to see how the pedal handles a little bit of overdrive. But more on that later. Yes, that's the Vemoram cam. <laughs> and that rhymes. So I push this and I don't know what happens. Spaceships come. Let's not be silly, let's go to spring. No pre-delay. So there's an actual delay before the reverb. It's kind of a pre-delay. Hmm? I'm missing a little bit of the boink. I think that's the world's best spring. It's springy. I've had better. Room. Room, 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 room. Sounds exactly the same. Was I? A little bit of roll up. Yeah, that's got a little bit, little bit more push. Here we have a church. Thank you. 
Fight! More snapbacky. Should be huge technically and then go away. Yep. And gone. So even if you make it gigantor. It doesn't trash your mix. Pretty cool. Mod should be beautiful. modulation in the lo-fi on the delay that was very subtle it's a little little bit flutter and rolls of the low end That's a great reverb because it just gives the guitar a little bit of depth without actually being there. That's really great for a lot of stuff. That's a great, great reverb. Very cool. Shimmer obviously gives us higher things. Thank you. 
on to the tone print, which could be anything really. It's an organy kind of something. I was going to try and see what the tone print does, uh, the uh, mash button does. You can very likely get amazing sounds. You know, I don't have it under my feet, that would really help. But um, yeah, go and fade those in uh, without the help of a fader inner. look at the tone print thingy so um, I'm gonna have to call up the software which is all right now still on the flashback 2 until I plug in this USB cable that comes with it and then I should have a lot of noise because it's connected to my computer and there's a ground something problem so I've had this problem with a lot of TC pedals they kind of should find out what the deal with that is and fix that um, so right now I have to go back there is the Hall of Fame 2 times 4 It found it Alien Outpost And now I should have Alien Outpost So sadly while I'm programming it I have the bad noise Nothing I can do about it you can then simply store in the pedal, save to one of the foot switches by simply clicking down the store and then it's saved to, well, right there. It's very simple. Um, of course, if I, let's go to Dark Hall. I click the little pencil and now I can edit it. Modulation on off all the stuff that you don't have on the pedal if you really want to dive in deep dynamics mode which means it gets ducked by the playing it has that modulation what do you want vibrato ramping vibrato flanger uh, chorus all there total control over the modulation with a lot of parameters I don't quite get what the octaver does but it does something here is the mapping, which is extremely, extremely cool because right now I'm on the decay knob, which means you can see how the decay behaves for this preset. Um, whereas I could also add an effects level. And they're now both controlled at the same time. I could even go and make them inverse. So the more decay I give, the bigger my reverb gets, the less level I get. Probably not down to zero, because that makes zero sense. Huh? So, 
I have a small room but a lot of mix and I get a bigger room with less mix. Let's see if that actually works. Or down, I would have to actually tweak that correctly. Oh, it's the router, not the... I don't know what I'm doing. Look at, look at all these parameters. I really need a manual for this. Um, but it's possible. You can control up to three parameters at the same time with all the knobs. So all four knobs can do what you want them to do. Just like the mesh. So I can now say the mesh is my decay. And then you can see that you can control it by pushing harder and, and softer. Obviously with you know dips if you wanted that. Um, I can also have a modulation rate thing that goes down while my dynamics mode uh, does a little bit of a mountainy thing. So, ooh, see there are all three doing stuff at the same time. Very cool and in the same way you can control what the expression pedal does also with three parameters. So you're fully in control over what your presets do. Um, you go to another one, you tweak it. You look at it. You add modulation. That noise is annoying and TC should really find out why that's happening. Because um, frankly, I don't want to spend a lot of time in the editor as long as that noise is going. Loads of algorithms on the front panel. Simple editing on the front panel. Eight presets on the front panel. MIDI, kill dry, trails, stereo in out, expression pedal. Um, it's freaking huge. It is definitely, look at my hand, this is a big, big, big pedal. So, what do I think? I think it excels in the crazier sounds where um, you have the, the shimmer and the spacey stuff. It does that really well um, and has a lot of creative options there. Your bread and butter sounds, it does well. I find that I would possibly, in that price range, still grab this. Since I have a big sky, which is way, way, way more expensive than that. It does those sounds a little bit more convincing, whether it's uh, spring or room hall, like the, the realistic sounds. This does it, but not as convincing as the much more expensive boxes. However, it's all there in a context. No one gives a flying rat's ass. It sounds great. It's very affordable, easy to program, tone print, Oh, I mean, it, it's it's the bee's knees. It's got everything there. Um, if you're into the crazier sounds, it has those, and I think it does those extremely well. If you're looking for that spring reverb, the Hall of Fame 2 times 4 probably isn't it. You would probably want to look at something like a Source Audio um, True Spring, which does that and nothing else. But it does that really well. This is a let me do a lot of things pretty damn well pedal. For the price, there's absolutely nothing we can say about it. I mean, since they were taken over by Behringer, the prices have dropped. You are very, very happy. This pedal should easily cost up to 300 and I could still easily recommend it. I think it is going to be under 200, which is a freaking joke. You won't find another reverb with all those options and recallability and presets and editor and all that in that quality under 200. It is literally without competition in its price range. So check it out in my links below. I would uh, be greatly appreciative if you use them uh, because that helps me. Um, thanks Leslie for switching. Thanks TC for commissioning this video. 
and um, some kind of animals at some kind of end of some kind of video.